What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Josh and Brandy Helm here with Texas Best Construction and we've got another finish tour video for you guys. Yay. Yeah, this is the Sherman <laughs> Barn Dominium. Sherman, Texas, just a little north from where we're at. So what do we got going on here on this building? So this house is a, it's technically a three, two, a three bedroom, two bath. Uh, about 13, a little over 1,300 square foot of living space. We have a bonus uh, sunroom on the back that's about 250 square feet. And we have a little over 250 square feet of front porch. Absolutely. And so on our exterior, we have burnished slate uh, roof and trim colors. And then we have a light stone panel. And we have looter stone, uh, you know, wainscoting going across on the front porch as well. So, uh, you know, one of the features here on this one, I guess it's a little bit more unique, is having a detached shop, um, giving you a little bit of an offset there, but still have it connected to where, you know, you've got that flow going. If it's bad weather or whatever, you can come in through, through the garage. But, you know, looking forward to showing you guys this one. I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get it going. open concept, living style going on here in this barn dominium. It's a great room. Yeah. It's all open into one one big living space. Essentially what's going on here is we've got master suite on one side. We've got a couple of other bedrooms over here. One could technically be an office, you know, or a bedroom, but it's all, it's got the laundry room uh, packed into that. So it's kind of a flex room. Mm -hmm. uh, so you got two full baths, and three rooms technically and then a sunroom which comes off the back but here is our living room area with the high vaulted ceilings which we're using that main shell roof space that goes all the way up so when you do this type of a thing uh, it always is a little bit challenging because you're trying to you know get air conditioning to both sides of the house uh, sometimes you know we're having to build fur downs and stuff like that but here we have a sunroom in the back that gives us some versatility when it comes to that. But let's talk about some of the finishes here right. that we've got going on in the house. So they did all white, pure white walls and white trim, the cabinets, everything is, is, is pure white throughout. We did uh, like a gray wood looking tile here that um, it came from Lowe's, but it looks really nice. I think, what size did you say this is? Like a six by 24, so. Okay. And then, um, and this, this, what size of room is this? Just to kind of get a feel. For like an 18, 18 feet by like 24 or. Yeah, uh, 18 by 24. Something like that. As a whole with the kitchen included. It's this whole room. Yes. And so it is, you know, more compact of a space, but overall it still lends the opportunity for you to have a, a, a fairly good living room space. And um, also, the, it works as the in-between space and you can have a lot of bar space over here in the kitchen. Well, one thing about having these vaulted ceilings is it makes the room bigger. It feels bigger, it feels more open. Um, your cabinets and things like that don't feel like they're intruding in on your, your living space because you've got such a high Right, room. so even in a tight or a smaller spot, you know, you don't have that feeling of being cramped because you got, you know, the, the lid is open, so. Yeah. Um, but here we've got a lot of beautiful cabinets, countertop, huge display of counters here. Yeah, this is a moon white granite and it's real pretty. It's got some grays and, and a, a little bit of a purple tone uh, kind of splashed in there, but it's real pretty. Yes, and they've got the double, what do you call this? Like just bi level, I guess. Bi level yeah. countertop. There you go. So uh, we don't see these much as often anymore, but this was what, like I said, they were going for. And, uh, you know, sometimes you could go just one solid surface, but here. Well, it kind of adds, it gives some, you know, 
dimension, dimension to the room. So. And as well as uh, kind of creates a little bit more of a barrier here in this room. So big open wide kitchen. There's not an island here, uh, but we've got nothing but cabinets, you know, going they've through some, here. They've got some good sized drawers here. Pots yes. And pans and all that. So. A lot of cabinets really for a, a more compact uh, square footage wise, you know, a lot of cabinets, uppers. We've got the vent hood over here. We've got uh, this range oven that is pretty cool. I like the ones that are doing without, you know, the raised back yeah, on them. The so kind of flat surface. Mm -hmm. It makes you be able to see more of your backsplash. So mm -hmm. um, in here, they do have a tiled uh, decorative backsplash. Uh, so, you know, we barely were able to kind of get a little more, a little cabinet there on the side of the vent hood, but. Hey, it's great for spices and things mm -hmm. like that. So your salt and pepper in there. And it kind of just completes that. All right. I think we have a few missing appliances maybe that are on the way, um, but this is the, the cubby for the, the microwave here. Microwave can go in there and then just some drawer space yep. there below, as well as a lot more upper cabinets. You know, where, where you maybe make, you're not having as much width and dimension in all these other directions, we're going vertical. You know, we've got some pretty good height here. These are nine foot cabinets, um, which, you know, we have the sink over here. Stainless steel sink. And it's an undermount stainless steel sink uh, with beautiful flowers on display. You know, something that we've, we've been doing actually for some quite time. I was kind of thinking about that on the way over here, but this has been something that's been sort of a tradition, even when we were doing remodeling. Yeah. We would, it was kind of like a, to me, it was something special to, to leave the homeowner with like a housewarming gift or something that right. just kind of brings a little life to the home. And um, I try to specialize it with their initial for their last name. And um, I just think it's something special and it's kind of neat to see um, past clients, they're still using it. They're still putting flowers yeah. in it. You know, husbands, it's, that's your opportunity to fill it. It's, yeah. Every time you come home. <laughs> it's a, tr it's a good tradition. So, but this is sitting here in this window space, which actually you can see on through the sunroom, looking out, seeing the view, which has some rolling hills and, uh, which is really, really cool, uh, to be able to still see out. Um, because the way this design was, we didn't really have a lot of windows on the back side of the house, except for when you go to the sunroom. Right. So finishing here, we have a lot more cabinets, uppers, but we also have a dishwasher, uh, full stack of drawers there on that side, and then uh, a big empty, what's going on here? We, so, <laughs> we've got a pocket ready for a refrigerator. It's just not here yet. Right, a fully enclosed, and this is what we're always telling you guys, but we, you know, we build this full uh, finished end for your cabinet space for your refrigerator. So this is what it looks like without one. This is what it looks like without <laughs> one, yeah. But that's one thing about our build is um, when we do our pricing, we don't include our appliance package because appliances can kind of be all over the place with prices. You can kind of get a best deal, you know, a best buy deal, or you can go. You well, know, and then what kind of buyer are you? you right. know, so sometimes, you know, it's like if we have a standard package for appliances, there's, it wouldn't matter. There was, there's always going to be. There's so many so options. So many different so tastes. So many brands, so many finishes. And so yeah. that's always something that, you know, our clients, have to give to us when we're designing cabinets and doing that. Right, because so. we usually have to have those measurements and the specs for those items when we're building the cabinets so, so that they can fit properly. Okay, so from here we're gonna, let's go on and show you guys the next side over here. This is- This is the guest bedroom side. Sort of a little hallway, mm -hmm. just a little one. And we're coming into a guest bedroom. This is the act, you know, mainly the main one guest room in this one because yes. the other one's a little small. And this is a standard bedroom setup that you guys have seen so many times, but we have, you know, a standard closet. With the cubbies. You just got your, you know, your one-two punch here. You got your... Uh, your highs, four, your lows, and your... Four sets of hanging and some cubbies in the middle. This is pretty typical for the layouts. Um, with, you know, the guy who, who does our draftsman, who does the designs, typically um, he does a lot of the this incorporated into the rooms all the time so you'll see this 
It's kind of like a repeat on our bills. Yeah, it's pretty standard unless you ask him to change it. There's probably not one build that doesn't have a closet like this, it seems like. Yeah, the double doors. So in through here, we have a guest bathroom with, uh, you know, a full vanity here, sink vanity, toilet combination. Uh, we got the same countertops with an undermount rectangle sink. But one thing in this particular design is we have a full walk-in shower in the guest bathroom. So check this out. It's a pretty cool, nice tiled shower with frameless door package uh, glass and all of the extra options for the shower valves and um, you know having the additional hand spray which is always nice to be able to clean those showers and maintain those showers uh, that's something that usually it's a little bit more money to get extra you know hardware going on in your shower but uh, so that's kind of the setup here of course the same tile throughout um, on the floors as well as all of the trim and door package that we got here which is a kind of a Cheyenne uh, walk through doors um, on all of our trim carpentry for the door spaces so moving into the other bedroom off this hall well I guess we should we should talk about this yeah so it's, it's a nice little upper cabinet it's, it's a full height cabinet actually and it has a little section in here where you can have like a laundry chute, it looks like. You can so. drop your laundry. Yeah, drop, drop your drawers. <laughs> drop your drawers. What in the world? Sorry. Yeah, so folks, when you come coming through here, you just drop your drawers right here. Right here by the laundry room. Right there, you know. Get out the shower, <laughs> drop your drawers. Um, you might as well take them on in there. <laughs> Anyways, I can't. I can't. Ridiculous. <laughs> so moving into here, this is a, a, a really quaint little room here. Mm -hmm. is, is that a rock? Is that the right word? <laughs> yeah. So I mean, you could utilize this room for quite a few different things. I think they're going to maybe put a treadmill in here, maybe some exercise equipment. Um, I might use it for a craft room, but you know, whatever. They might not um, be okay with that. So you might want to at least check and see if they're okay with you moving in. <laughs> oh, <I'm> not gonna. <laughs> All right. Anyways. Okay. So exercise room, that's a good idea. I didn't think a little about office that. or something like that. You can, uh, definitely a little office mm -hmm. and, um, you know, but you got your washer and dryer here, this which is, has, has the bifold door. This is for the multitaskers. You can do your laundry while you're working out or do your laundry while you're doing your work. Yeah. I'm just trying to imagine you got your dryer going and it's creating all this heat and you're in here working out. <laughs> hey, it it's helps like a dry sauna at the yeah. same time. Yeah. Okay. Well, whatever works, but we do have ventilation for the washer and dryer, so mm -hmm. you can turn that on as you are, you know, running the dryer, so it's not creating too much heat in here. In the upper cabinet. There's some storage A lot of storage there. as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. So this is not your conventional uh, bedroom, but you could make a little bed in here, I suppose, oh, as well. Oh, sure. You could put a day bed or something like that in here. All right. So on this side of the house, we have the master suite. It's a 14 by 14 bedroom, and we have the same tile throughout like we do the rest of the... Yes, tile in the master, which is always cool uh, to, well, to the touch as well as to look. It's good to have a kind of a seamless mm -hmm. um, transitions through your flooring, uh, So, which is always nice. I like that even when we do the stained concrete or tile, or, mm -hmm. you know, being able to continue that throughout. So right, you don't have a bunch have of, a lot of different transitions and different heights. But in here, I mean, we've got nine foot ceilings. We've got can lighting. We've got a ceiling fan. Um, all your white colors uh, as well throughout in here. Um, and this opens up into the master suite area. So we'll take you guys in here and show you what we've got going on there. So our master bathroom area kind of gives you this hotel feel. Basically, we've got like this really cool bar light going on here with uh you know this this real sleek mirror and uh of course the the hardware as well going on on this countertop space but it just feels really nice you know it's got separation to it so you have your your vanity area it's kind of separate from your closet it's separate from the toilet and shower area so you kind of go in there and that's true. Give Take care some, of business, but some of you out here give brushing their teeth. Privacy and, and, <laughs> and being able to shut that off. And our walk-in closet here is pretty awesome. We've got this, you know, full double 
rack storage with the cubby storage as well uh, here on the inside. And uh, the dress storage is kind of at the end of the closet, which is, which is a little bit different, but a good way to do it and to break it up. On this side of the house, we also do have access door that goes up above into the attic space. That's, you know, accessible through the, through the closet here. But moving on, we have the, like you said, the private toilet area as you go through the pocket door. And then we have through there is the full walk through shower or walk in shower. Uh, it's not really a walk through, but you just go in and come out. <laughs> Uh, so with the full frameless glass, uh, which this looks really, really cool. And, uh, you know, I like the tile design here going on the floors, just kind of, yeah, because usually we uh, usually see people use a small tile, you know, kind of the 12 by 12 that has like kind of a mosaic, whether it's a penny tile or, you know, the little hexagons or something, but this is actually a big tile that they cut almost in a design so that it would have that so slope, like a slope to and, the drain. And we don't normally use the bigger tiles, but in this case, they, they, uh, the installers uh, made it work with what the clients wanted. So it's pretty cool. And uh, again, having the same kind of setup that we have in the other shower with the hand spray option and volume controls uh, with the diverter valves all of that. Also, we have the bench seating here in this shower. Okay, here is the sunroom. This is where you come get baked. Yeah, <laughs> tons of windows. There's like seven windows on the back side of this yeah. house. And some ceiling fans, can lighting, uh, of course, continuing that white theme throughout here. This is just this really long kind of shotgun room. Mm -hmm. What can you do in a sunroom? I don't know. I think you could do some plants in here maybe. Definitely some seating. It's not, it's good. It's more finished than a screen porch for sure. Mm -hmm. um, so they're gonna, um, I mean, but you could definitely put some seating out here and- Raise all the windows up and, mm -hmm. you know, take it in. Comfortable temperatures and stuff like that. I don't know what 104 degree temperatures outside, maybe not as much you can do. Maybe I don't not know. so much, but in the, the fall and the springtime, it'd be nice to just open all these windows and Absolutely. get a nice breeze going. Well, uh, moving from here, this is actually our segue going into the shop. Mm -hmm. So this is the accessibility here. So we're coming and we're gonna move on into the shop area. There's just a little covered, little covered breezeway to get to the shop. All right, so this shop is 600 square foot. And you could get two small cars in here. Yes. Uh, you could, I mean, cause you got your, you know, your kind of standard width on the, uh, overhead opening door. And in this particular shop, we came through and we did put the liner, uh, lumber, I guess you'd say for this, we're using the, uh, plywood here with the half inch plywood and, uh, all of the plugs, uh, have been actually brought out on this, on this particular build. Um, to the outside of those liner uh, plywood panels. And, you know, this shop already has stuff in it. <laughs> so this is not really our normal routine, but our clients were actually kind of transplanting here from Oklahoma. And, you know, they put their stuff here uh, as they're getting ready to move into the house. So, which is always an exciting time. Yep. But this is just, it's kind of neat. It's a well-insulated, uh, shop build and uh, there's you know it's it's going to work well for what they they had need for allowing for some shelf space and just uh, you know for them to kind of maintenance and take care of their property so you know we hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video um, we've got much more to come and we want you to take another look at this build so we'll show you again here at the end but if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I hope you'll do that now. Also, don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and uh, wherever you all know you can find us. Yeah. Uh, I'm Josh Helm. And I'm Brandy Helm. We're wishing you all the best. Thanks Thank for watching. Texas, Texas Best. best.